science fiction. It's one of those genres out there that is often grouped together with fantasy and it's one of the most influential genres out there when it comes to analyzing different ideas with a focus on the future. When you go into a bookstore you usually see sci-fi books and fantasy books in the same section and online we often use the term SFF books meaning science fiction and fantasy books because these genres can often be difficult to distinguish. And as an avid fantasy reader, I've been wanting to get more into sci-fi and I have now read 11 sci-fi novels and 5 novellas and for the most part, it's been a disaster, kinda. So I'll split this video into three parts. Firstly, I want to talk about why sci-fi hasn't worked for me. Secondly, I want to talk about which sci-fi books I have enjoyed and what have made those sci-fi books so compelling. And believe me, one of my favorite reads of 2021 was a sci-fi book. And then lastly, I want to briefly talk about where I now stand with sci-fi and if I have any plans to read more books in this genre. If you want to know exactly which books I read, then I'll write the whole list in the description down below. Let's get into it. Firstly, let's talk about why sci-fi hasn't worked for me, for the most part. Now, I did my toes into some classic sci-fi and even some modern sci-fi, and I read books such as Dune, Ender's Game, all Citizens Red and Shards of Earth. Now, I have not read that many sci-fi books, but there are two things that continuously make it difficult for me to get invested in these stories. Firstly, a lot of sci-fi books are super focused on exploring some set of ideas. For example, it will be exploring maybe how humans will interact with aliens or how technology will impact our lives in the future. But I often experience that this exploration of these ideas becomes the most important part of these stories. Now, I love when a fiction book is able to explore different ideas in a fictional setting, but I am a very character-driven reader and I often found that sci-fi authors do not take as much care in crafting these characters in the stories. Yes, you have some characters that are important for the story, but the main thing is often not the characters, and sometimes not even the story, but these ideas that these authors want to explore. And that is why I often do feel intrigued in the first 100 pages when picking up a sci-fi book, because you're introduced to a world that maybe is struggling with climate change or AI and so on, but analyzing some specific ideas for 300, 400 or 500 pages is just not enough to get me invested in the story. An author needs to get me invested in the characters first to keep me engaged throughout the whole story. Now, I know I am generalizing and not all sci-fi books are like this, but I often experience that the story or the ideas take priority over the characters. I have especially experienced this with classic sci-fi where the characters often have no depth. And I know modern sci-fi books generally tend to focus more on the characters than classic sci-fi do. But for example, I recently tried reading Under Fortune Stars, which is an arc I received, so this is a modern sci-fi book, and while the concept is absolutely fascinating, I didn't find the characters compelling, which has led me to DNF it at the halfway mark. I also gave Murderbot a try because that's a very character-driven sci-fi series. Unfortunately, I tried reading All Systems Red and Artificial Condition and they didn't work for me. Everyone says how hilarious these books are and how great of a character Murderbot is. While I did think the concept is creative, I didn't find the humor to be funny or Murderbot to be an interesting character at all, which is very unfortunate because I really, really wanted to enjoy that series. But yeah, my first issue with sci-fi books is that they generally tend to focus too much on ideas or the characters. Secondly, I do sometimes experience that sci-fi books try to be too sciency. Now I know the genre is literally called science fiction so I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but sometimes some authors will write these long paragraph on how this technology works or how this rocket is powered and you're reading some made-up science which almost feels like reading straight-up jargon. Just don't get it because you're not smart enough. I know some readers really appreciate the author making an effort in trying to explain how everything works because that definitely adds another layer of that sense of realism. But for me, I don't really want to know in detail how a laser gun works or how a spaceship is powered. For example, I read Shards of Earth last year and that book was so dense, especially in the first 20% of the book. I felt like I barely understood what was going on. There were so many scientific terms and explanations about the science and the world and it just didn't really feel like a fictional book to me in some sense. Now, that book has received so much praise, so it's definitely a me thing. I know Tchaikovsky is one of the best sci-fi authors out there, but for me, it just sometimes gets a bit too much with the science. So those are the two main reasons why I have struggled a lot with sci-fi. 
Firstly, sci-fi books tend to focus too much on ideas and lack compelling characters. And secondly, I don't find the detailed explanations about how everything works that interesting. But that leads me to the next section of this video. Even though sci-fi rarely works for me, there have been some couple of exceptions. Firstly, one of my favorite reads of 2021 was a sci-fi book, and that was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This book definitely deserves all the praise and hype because this was so freaking good. What Andy Weir does in this book that makes it so fantastic is to focus first and foremost on the two main characters. And wow, these characters are incredible. I felt so invested in Ryland Grace and Rocky and their journey. So it almost feels like Weir focused first and foremost on creating good characters. And then secondly on creating a good plot. And then thirdly, the ideas. And that was what made this book so fantastic. The characters are incredible. Secondly, there is actually a lot of science jargon in this book, but for some reason I never felt stupid while reading it. I don't know how to explain why I was okay with scientific explanations in this book, but I was. It's probably because all the other things in this book are so great that I actually didn't mind the scientific jargon. Then we have another one, Mickey 7, which I really enjoyed as well. Now, this one wasn't as good as Project Hail Mary, but it was good for similar reasons as Project Hail Mary. This book is told through a single first person point of view, so we get to experience the protagonist's feelings, thoughts and struggles, which worked really well for me. Also, this book isn't overly technical, but it does explore some really great ideas. Maybe the conclusion from all of this is that I enjoy sci-fi books if they're not overly complicated and are character driven. And that leads me to the last section of this video. Where do I stand with sci-fi now? Well, I haven't given up on sci-fi just yet. I think I just need to discover some authors that write sci-fi books in ways that I appreciate because I really enjoyed my time with Project Hail Mary and Mickey 7. Moreover, I also generally tend to enjoy books that are a blend of sci-fi and fantasy. I think I usually start to struggle when a book is only sci-fi. So this is my plan. I'm planning on reading Red Rising because I have heard from a lot of people that that series is much more character driven and I know it's loved by a lot of fantasy readers. I also want to give Becky Chambers a try since so many people have recommended her books to me. Thirdly, I want to give Christopher Rocchio's Sun Eater series a try. Now, I believe that that series might be a bit heavy on the sci-fi elements, but I have heard really great things about that one. And then lastly, I'm also interested in reading some of Blake Crouch's books. But if you guys have any sci-fi recommendations for books that are similar to Project Hail Mary or Mickey 7, then please let me know. I do want to get into sci-fi a bit more, but I just haven't really found books that work well for me. So that is it. Do you enjoy reading sci-fi or do you also struggle with the genre? And as always, thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to my Patreons. I really appreciate it.